Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Giselle and this is my channel. And today I am back with another vlog. Right now it is currently Saturday at like 3.30. This morning I really didn't do anything. I just relaxed and to ha just had a slow morning overall because it's just been a very tiring and trying week. So this weekend I'm just keeping it very low key. I don't know what I'm going to name this vlog. Um, but... Right now, I am at the Value Village that I went to in my last vlog. I'm back here again because I just really wanted to come back and look some more for some items. Because I feel like I didn't really get a good chance to look at it the last time. Only because one of my one someone that I follow on TikTok had came to this thrift store and had got like all the good things. So I just wanted to see if they maybe added some good things. Um, now, after this, I'm going to hit one more thrift store and then I'm going to go to the farmer's market because I need to get some groceries, like some meat and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's where we are right now and we'll just see where the rest of the day goes. But let's go into the thrift store and see if I can find anything else that is good. My rule is, is that I'm not going to get grab a cart unless I find a couple of things that I'm actually going to buy. That is the rule. Let's see if I follow it. Okay, guys, I am back in the car. I didn't find anything in there, so we're off to the next thrift store. Hopefully, we can have better luck, but yeah. Hey, guys, so I made it to the second thrift store, and this is a thrift store that I went to in my last vlog that I didn't have enough time to look at, so I decided to come back before I go to the farmer's market, which is down the street. And my energy is just so low today. I think I'm just like, I don't know if I'm slightly depressed or what i i'm very much one of those people where if the weather is like gloomy or like it looks like it's about to rain right now see like it's very gloomy today but i'm one of those people that if it's like raining or it's gloomy and stuff like my mood depends on the weather so when it's sunny i'm more vibrant energetic and da, da, da. but when it's like this i just get very like sad and depressed and then it, it helps it doesn't even help that i've been listening to mariah the scientist because i've just i don't know something's just been gravitating me towards her music um so if I, i'm just not energetic at the first part of this video that's the reason why but i really want to see if i could find something before i go to the grocery store and then head back home because clearly this type of weather got me ready to snuggle up in the bed so let's go in and see what we can find i want to see it under blue light like that scene in belly get it like traffic jam get it make it move in the bag so i ended up getting a couple of things at this thrift store a lot of the stuff that ends up making the bag heavy i got at the last very minute as i was walking out the store but i did find a couple of things that i genuinely liked um more of it is a lot of like glassware and just like cooking stuff and then i got a couple um and then i got like one clothing piece that was really it so right now i'm about to head it's five o'clock I'm about to head to the farmer's market and see if I can grab some groceries and stuff like this. Usually I go to the farmer's market just for the meat. To the salon! So I just got back home and I want to do a haul of everything that I've, I just got at the store. So let's go ahead and do a haul first. I'm going to start with some of the, the thrift store stuff and then I'm going to get into the groceries because I'm going to go ahead and break my meat up, like split my meat between me and my mom because we like to cook different things and it, we cook at different times as well. So I'm, I want to clean my meat. I want to clean and season my meat and put it in the freezer. That's something she just always taught me, you know, Caribbean parents. But let's go ahead. So I went to the thrift store and I picked up the first thing that I can see is I picked up this lemon squeeze, right? And it was only $2. 
And the reason why I picked this up is because, one, I really like it. Like, it's like the old-fashioned, and I'm very much in my Nara phase, okay? So, I thought this was really cool. Um, and then, too, you can squeeze it, and then you can pour it. So, I really like that. Um, I was, because this stuff is from my, like, apartment. So, I was looking at getting, like, one of the squeezable, like, fresh push down like the handheld lemon squeezers but I thought this was cute so I ended up just picking this up so I got that and then the next thing I got was I got some Nike pants just these Nike workout pants which I'm always I'm always working out so I thought this was just like a bonus so I got these the next thing I got was some glasses So I just got these two glasses. I just thought these were really cute. I'm really into like just a little bit of different glassware for like my TikToks and stuff. But also like I always get two. <laughs> I'm a single person, right? And I always get two because I always just believe that I'm going to meet somebody and I need to have a pair for me and them. You know, even though I'm very much not applying myself to the dating world. So I ended up getting these two and these were $159 for both of them. And then I ended up getting another glass, which I just ended up getting this one for myself. Um, it's just this clear glass like this. I just thought this cute. Like I said, I'm really into like cute little different glasswares for TikToks and just vlogs and stuff like that. So I ended up getting that. One of my favorite people to watch and I love their glassware is Daisy B here on TikTok, on YouTube. Her glassware, like when she's like making drinks in her vlogs and stuff, is so pretty and that's why i ended up coming back to this thrift store because she does a lot of, of cookware and glassware with color and i i am i am not a beige brigade girl i'm more of like a black aesthetic girl like i like black a lot where the girls like the creams and the nudes but i really do like color sometimes and so yeah which leads me to my next thing so um, yesterday I ended up after work going to Burlington because every time I get paid I always try to get things for my future apartment you guys know I've been building that stuff up there well recently I went through all this stuff to make sure that I wasn't re buying the same thing over and over again but to um, to just kind of update my spreadsheet on what I had because I had been getting a little lazy and some of the things that I was thinking about as I'm moving closer to possibly moving out um, I was thinking about some of the some of the essentials that I just do not have yet. And one of the things that I realized I did not have was I did not have baking pans. And I'm a pasta girly. I love to cook pasta. And like at some point I would like to learn how to cook baked ziti. So I ended up getting some baking pans. So I ended up getting this brown baking pan from Pyrex. It was $4.99. I ended up getting this one because I thought this was like nice. And I just like the brown versus the clear i just i don't know i just prefer the brown so i just got the brown and then i thought that one of them was deeper than the other but i ended up getting two of them because i feel like yeah i ended up getting two so i also ended up getting this one i really could have just got one this one was also 4.99 and i could have just got one but i decided to get two because when i move out and i'm making like I don't know, like when I'm making baked macaroni and cheese, I love baked macaroni and cheese. I don't know. I just got two of them. I don't know. I just ended up getting two. Now that, I, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of regret because it's just like, what do you need two for? But I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like going thrifting. Are you one of those people that don't buy glassware or like cookware from the thrift store? I really inspect the quality of the like the glassware and stuff and I'm I I do a very like deep clean of the stuff. I plan to especially deep clean all of that. Um and the 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 pans were like not even used. Like one of them still has the tag on it. So I was just like, okay. Um but yeah, I'm not against buying glassware from the thrift store because you can find some really good household things at the thrift store. Um so yeah all right let's get into my grocery haul this is the first bag 
I ended up getting some green grapes. I ended up getting some green grapes. A whole bunch of lemon because that's what I use to clean my meat. I got some mangoes for me and my mom. Um, I got some rice because I love the rice at um, the farmer's market. It's just really good. So I ended up getting the rice. Bananas, because I just, I love bananas, y'all. Like, if I'm going to the grocery store, if you ask me what one item am I picking up from the grocery store, I'm always gonna pick up bananas. I just, it's just my favorite breakfast food, honestly. Like my favorite, like grab and go breakfast food is banana. And it really helps with like, I don't know, it just helps with the digestive system. It's just so many benefits. I got some kiwis because I grew up, you know, my mom is Haitian. My dad is Nigerian. I grew up with fruit. And then I got two potatoes. And then I got some protein bars. These are the Luna Blueberry Bliss protein bars. These are my favorite protein bars to put in my car for after I get out of bar class. Um, tomorrow I have Pilates. I'm trying Pilates for the first time. So these are my favorite workout bars. I just, when I don't have a Kill Me Crazy right next door, because if y'all see my Weekend My Hobbies video, I went to um, spin class. And after spin class, I usually go to Kill Me Crazy. But when I'm not near a Kill Me Crazy, I do work up a hunt, an appetite in my workout classes. So I do like to get protein bars to keep in my car to eat. And they are very filling. So that, and then this one, I'm trying a new one. This is Nuts Over Chocolate crazy name but this is what I have so I got that and that's all in this bag and then in the next bag this is all the meat that I got so I got some ground some ground beef and this was I got three pounds and it was twenty one eighteen. So I got that. The next thing I got was I got the first thing I see is I got some Evans chicken thighs. I got two pounds of chicken thighs and this was six twenty five. Let me start putting this stuff in the The next thing I got was some chicken wings. I got two pounds, two and a half, like close to two and a half pounds, and these were eight eighty four. The next thing I have is some trick chicken drumsticks. I got two and a half pounds of this, and this was six oh seven. The last thing, the last piece of like meat I got was I got myself a piece of salmon. And this one was I got a pound of salmon. I got Scottish salmon with the skin off, and this was $15.36. So, and they put it on some ice for me too. So I'm about to go ahead and start putting these groceries away, divvying out this meat and cleaning mine, at least cleaning my meat. And then, cause my mom, she's Caribbean, so she got her own special way that she likes to clean her meat. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna touch hers. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then afterwards, I am going to see what the day. Oh, I really want to go to this ice cream spot here. I really need to see how, like, what time they close. Hold on. I need to see what time they close. I've been, I've, I've been craving this ice cream spot that I seen on TikTok. So it's called like Big Softy and it's over there by Georgia State. So I want to see. They close at 10. Okay, so they close at 10 o'clock. So let me hurry up because it's already seven, almost 7.30. Let me hurry up. I'm going to change out of my clothes and get the cleaning so we can make it to the ice cream. Okay, I'm really going to try it.
back in the car after going out to eat it's tw it's it's 12 55 it's almost 1 a.m in the morning and um well yeah actually it's 12 58 my time my car is off but it's almost 1 a.m in the morning and i came to this restaurant that um i came to this restaurant called the Ag argosy argosy I came to this restaurant called the Argosy because I was starving. I had a horrible headache. I didn't get to make it to the ice cream spot. Um, and I just had a horrible migraine, y'all. It was so bad. Like, literally, I was driving here to come get something to eat. And I had to pull over because I had to, like, I had to throw up. Like, I, and I didn't, I haven't eaten anything all day. I ate waffles this morning. And then I had peanut butter crackers. That was it. But I had this horrible migraine that has subdued since I've eaten. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to hurry up and get something to eat because clearly I was hungry. Um, now I've really been craving some sushi, but I don't know any late night sushi spots. But this restaurant was a place that I had on my TikTok that I really wanted to try because there's this girl on TikTok that I follow that does like um, places to eat in Atlanta. It's like elevated, like she gives the vibes, the food, the food. She gives the price range and everything. Like it's just every, it's just like she just does a wonderful job. So I made a photo specifically for the restaurants that she has recommended so that I could try. And this restaurant was one of the restaurants that I really wanted to try. The pizza was so freaking good. I mean, so good. I have a little bit of leftovers. I don't even know if it's going to make it to to the over part. If it's going to make it to tomorrow. Because I might have to eat that tonight. But it was really, really good. Um, and I'm really glad I came. And this area seems to be like a nice weekend spot. Um, like if you want to like bar hop or club hop. Uh, bar hop. But um, you, what I want to say is. I am like okay being single you know like I'm okay waiting for what I want and you know not settling and just having standards and all of those things and just everything that I've learned in therapy and just you know standing on my self-worth and standing on everything because there's been so many times where I wasn't right and so because there was times that I wasn't I feel like I owe myself to get the best possible moving forward right but one thing I would tell you is the hardest part about being single and like standing in that is the weekend. From Friday night to about Sunday, that is about the hardest time for me being single because I always envision Friday nights being like date night. You hang out with your boo, your bae, you know, after work, he's texting you, telling you like he wants to see you this weekend and, and all this stuff. And then on Saturday night... You might get together with like even your friends or um, even your like your boo, you know, and y'all just out having life. Yeah, just out having fun and just doing things. I don't know. It's just like I think the weekend is that time where where I really like wish that I had somebody to like share moments with, and not just in a like a uh, relationship, but even friendship too. I find it so hard to like make friends and stuff, you know, and um. Yeah, it's just like the weekend is just always the hardest. It's the hardest time for me. Like, I enjoy being by myself. I enjoy the energy because, you know, I've 
times. I've dealt with times where I've spent time with people and I genuinely couldn't enjoy myself because like they just sucked up all the energy with their negativity like if they didn't like their food they had to ruin the experience for everybody you know and because I've dealt with that before I enjoy those moments where I'm alone but I can dislike what I've been through and and want what I want if that makes sense like I can dislike the fact that I didn't like those experiences where people felt, where I felt like their energy took up all the room and I had no space to actually like feel or enjoy or anything like that. But I also can want, I can also want someone there that is going to meet my needs and make me enjoy moments with them, if that makes sense. But I don't know, the weekend is just, I don't know, lately. I've been telling y'all today has just been like a hard day for me, period, because it's just been, oh, I feel like I'm about to cry, but it's just been feeling so like gloomy and stuff, and I just keep listening to Mariah Scientist, and while I was at the restaurant, I made this playlist on Apple Music, and it's called Manifesting Love, um, it's called Manifesting Love, I don't know, but I made this playlist on Apple Music, and it basically describes like the the ebbs and flows of a relationship and just the way that I want to feel in my next relationship like just genuinely just in love with somebody I'm gonna link the playlist down below if you want to listen to it but this is just like um this is just I also got like a love making playlist let's just be grown for real I got a love making playlist I also have a marriage playlist of like just the songs that I would like to like have played at my wedding but um yeah i think that mixed with like friday night my co-worker was talking to me about like relationships and stuff and it's just i don't know i i just i don't know i'm just in my feels this weekend and it's, this is just this is a part of just being a girl you know like I know we all spend time talking about 50-50 this and 50-50 that and, and the t this imaginary freaking table and the chairs and the tablecloths for the table and just all the things, you know? But the truth of the matter is, is that people, at the root of all of it, people really just want to be loved. And I just want to be loved. But I want to be loved correctly because you can be loved, right? Or you can even be liked. Or you can be lust after. But genuine healthy love I deserve to have that like I deserve to have healthy love with someone who genuinely likes me and I've dated people who now looking back on it did not like me they lust after me or they they like they like what they had imagined me to be or um what I would look like next on their arm you know, but I deserve someone who genuinely loves me, who genuinely cares for me, who genuinely treats me like right. And it's just taking a little minute to like to come. Um, but it'll come and and yeah. And so in these moments where I'm just like, oh, I wish I had somebody, I just listen to my playlist and I just like it just re realize me back with the the it realized me back with the fact that um you're waiting for you're waiting for the right person you're waiting for that type of love in my playlist um and um what i am seeking is seeking me like my person is probably seeking me as well you know yeah, so I just really wanted to, I just really wanted to, like, just express myself. Um, but I'm about to head home, and I'm probably going to slide into bed and watch some NCIS. I got to get home quickly, too, because I got, I got to be at my um, Pilates class at, like, 9.30. And I really want to get there early so I can get a good spot so that I can, like, film it. But this is my first time ever taking Pilates. I'm about to be a Pilates girl. I'm adding Pilates into my rotation. So y'all know I do bar, I do yoga, and I do spin class sometimes now. But I'm thinking about adding a Pilates into my rotation because my bar class is starting to get a little hard to get into. Um, and so because of that, I want to, because I still want to be able to work out 
and have something to look forward to after the um like still be able to have a weekday workout class uh i've decided to go ahead and add uh pilates and try it out um i need to get back into going to spin class i have not like i just be going to spin class off and on um yeah so i'm this is my first ever pilates class before I could take any like I, before I could take Pilates classes regularly, I have to take Pilates the Daily Foundations, which basically is like the intro to Pilates. Um, you have to take that class as a prerequisite before you can start taking classes. Um, period. So luckily they were able to have one on Sunday at nine. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to Pilates, ah! and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm super excited and I cannot wait. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. He's feeding the rape, all his head on my coochie. He touching the milli on coochie. Doing good, John Gucci. Fly to Asia, he feeding me sushi. When we move, it feel like a movie. Rock, they never been a groupie. Still on a hoe, I like my nigga bougie. Okay, guys. So I just got out of Pilates class. I know it looks like I'm sweating, but I actually didn't break a sweat. I'm actually, I'm actually just oily as heck. <laughs> I'm actually just oily. But I just got out of my Pilates class, and it was really nice. We couldn't record in there, but the, the aesthetic of the place was really, really nice. Okay, so I'm back in the car, and... Um, the Pilates class was really, really nice. You know, um, I thought it would be a lot harder. And maybe it's because I'm taking the beginner. I took the, like, the, in the intro class. That is why it's not as hard as I thought it would be. But, um, uh, it, it, like, it's very, it has a lot of the same techniques as bar. But bar is a little bit more harder, I think, um, yeah, it has a lot of the techniques. We use a, we use a ball. Um, we use, like, the waistbands, but they use the waistbands, too, and then they use, like, the reformer and all that stuff. But I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed doing it on a Sunday. See, Sundays are, like, my slow days. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get out the bed. But I really realized that instead of taking a class on Saturday... I really need to start taking a workout class on Sunday to get my body up and moving because if not, I will sit in the bed all day, okay? And that is beneficial to no one. I think it was just hot in there. It was hot. I look so oily. Yeah. So, it was a really nice class. It was a really nice class. I very much enjoyed myself. Uh, I definitely would do it again. I actually, let me see if they have a Sunday, another Sunday class. Because I would love, I love the area it's in. You know, y'all know I do everything. I take all my workout classes. I do, I spend my life in my dream area. So, I love the area that it's in. I'm very, I'm very familiar with the area. Um, I love the studio. It's so beautiful in there. Like, I love the aesthetic. I, I, the only thing I hate is that you can't record. But at the same time, I understand why. Because if, if I spent the, uh, if I spent the whole time, like, trying to get the angles and stuff like that, um, I would not be present in the class. And I feel like Pilates is one of those things that I guess you need, you, like, you need to be present in because you're doing so many moves and stuff versus at bar, uh, you're doing a lot of moves, but you could really, like, I don't know. You could prop up the camera. You get breaks in between. So, I don't know. I've hit over 100 reservations on um, ClassPass uh, a while ago. I'm at 105 reservations. Majority of them are bar classes. And I've really been thinking about becoming a bar instructor. You know how some people say, like, you got to have a side hustle and stuff like that? And I'm just like, yeah, if I'm going to pick a side hustle, if I'm going to make money on the side, I'm going to do it with something that I love. And I genuinely love bar class. You know, it's something that I enjoy. It would work really well with my schedule because, like, they have 645 classes, 730 classes, uh, 645, 545 classes. Um, so I've really been thinking about possibly becoming a bar instructor. I'm going to talk to my, like, 
the bar class the bar class that I take that company I'm gonna talk to one of the ladies to see about how I can become one but I'm really thinking about becoming a bar instructor as my side hustle and I'm super excited about that because I think that would be a great thing like I don't know to make some extra money on the side and also doing something that I already enjoy doing. So y'all let me know in the comments because y'all seen me go to bar multiple times um, in some of my older vlogs. I haven't really vlogged there recently, but y'all have seen it and I go to a lot of bar classes. Like, let me show y'all real quick. See if I could. Y'all can see right there. Hopefully y'all can see. Like that is all like a lot of bar classes. It's so, I mean, it's so much to the point where they, like, know my name in there. And they're like, just oh, we haven't seen you in a while. I love that. Stuff like that is called, to me, it's called Cheers. Like, I call that my Cheers, right? Um, cheers is, like, that place that you go to where um, people know your name and, you like, you frequently go to. Um, and I learned that from a book. And ever since, it was, it's, like, one of my favorite books on my Kindle. And ever since I uh, saw that, I've always been trying to find Cheers, um that I can go to, like, make. So, like, I want to make my Pilates class. This Pilates class my one of my cheers. My yoga class is a cheer. My bar class is a cheer. My cycle class is a cheer. Um, so, yeah. We'll see. I'm going to start rambling now and figure out what I'm going to do next. And I'll see you guys at the next one. long but I'm sitting outside and I just met a girl and we're having a really good conversation uh, I'm gonna talk about it more in the car but we're having a really good conversation she's a black woman I'm a black woman love black woman to infinity infinity this crepe is really good it's really really good the coffee is good as well I just found this place on TikTok and um, I'm really enjoying myself. It's a beautiful Sunday. I told y'all, when the sun is out, I am vibrant. I am happy. But when it's gloomy outside, baby, <laughs> I'm like Dark Vader. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm having a really good time. And this just goes to talk about what I talked about yesterday at the end about, like, just finding community and stuff. And um, just putting yourself out there and meeting people, you know. And I'm having a really good conversation. And I really just learned that even if these conversations don't go into a friendship, I just really want to be present in the conversations and just enjoy this time that I get to spend with somebody else. And I'm really enjoying that. So, I'm just a girl. Okay, this is why this is just the girl diaries because of stuff like this. Hey guys. So, um, I just finished at the restaurant, the Juliana's, the crepe, Juliana's, the crepes was really, really good. The coffee is good. It's got me awake and vibrant. Y'all, the conversation that I just had, it was so beautiful. Like, oh my God, it was just, it was just, <laughs> it was just magnificent. Like, man, like sometimes I'm, I'm really going to push myself to be one of those people that says hey to people first because she spoke to me first. And I really, I really, uh, y'all, uh, that conversation just has me on a high. Damn, this motherfucker is tight. Oh, it's so hot. I mean, if this is what hell on earth feels like, 
if if this is what the saying hell on earth is baby i can't I, I i'm never going to hell Whoo! this that type of heat that i have you i told people this that type of heat that'll have you delusional okay be ready to call that man up and and text him and say what you're doing like that this is the type of heat that i have you thinking you're still in a relationship with that man i i I, I can't like it's just so hot and I know I got this long sleeves on but it is just so freaking hot like God I wish I would have got a car that you could like you know start with the with the key fob because I mean you get in the car and you turn on the AC and that's I mean the car AC ain't even enough and God forbid with inflation being so high that your AC goes out oh my god this is just crazy like i gotta get home but it's just so crazy like that the heat is just it is just unbearable period like it's just unbearable am i focused the heat is just unbearable i can't i can't even function i can't even think straight but y'all, the conversation I just had with that black woman, she was just so beautiful. Her energy was just so beautiful. And I, I, I didn't say this on the camera. I haven't said this on camera. But y'all, something, I've, I've been feeling really peaceful. And I feel like I'm really in line with God. And just, you know, just, I don't know. Like, I am just on a peaceful high. And honestly, I can't even say it's a high. Because this is just like my new norm. And when I tell you, when you really do the work on yourself and you find that inner peace within yourself and you just start to exude that, I, I promise you, you will attract some of the most beautiful conversations, the most beautiful just like just day to day events, invites. I'm telling you ever since like I, I can't wait to tell my therapist about this, but lately it's just like every time i tell god like oh my god i wish i had people i wish i had friends i wish i just had conversations i wish i had someone to spend this day with like y'all in my journal in the scene before this but you know at, when i was at the restaurant last night and i was talking about like how i wish somebody was how i wish i could spend this time with someone then for this mo uh, morning after i went to my polite class and y'all saw me writing my journal i was writing about that um experience um, just wanting that and then for I'm telling you not even 24 hours not even like five God just really has been answering little prayers to me God has really just been answering little prayers to me really quickly like when I say like oh man I wish I had this oh man I wish I could experience that like the way I tell y'all the way I'm, I mean not even 24 hours the way God will, will give me those experiences, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's just a lot of it, God will just give me those experiences. And I literally never take them for granted. Like, that's why y'all saw me so giddy in the last clip, because I'm just like, I be I just be so grateful. Like, oh my God. It just it just goes to show you that when you're like a good person, when you're in alignment and when you just have a good heart and I, I, and the thing about it too is in my journal I wrote I said God I hope you bring me people who exude the love that you have for me I wrote that in my journal and like her aura I mean even if I don't ever see her ever again her order her aura and just the way she spoke with so much poise it just reminds me of the love that God has the God that God shows me every day I mean the littlest thing y'all like even sometimes I'll be like oh man like I wish I could live here or I wish I could live there and God will bring me someone who lives there just so he can show me that it's possible for me like I, I mean if I could break it down to y'all and show and tell y'all every which way it, it like these things and experiences happen y'all would not even believe me like I'm going to a salsa class on 4th of July and I wrote in my journal, I wrote that on my bucket list of like things I want to do because my therapist had told me to write 50 things that you want to do like after I graduated or just in life general. And I wrote that I wanted to take a salsa class and the way, and then recently I just kept thinking in my mind like, man, I really want to take a salsa class, but I don't really know how I would do that. 
and this girl on TikTok went to a salsa class and that video popped up on my timeline and I immediately booked my class y'all I'm telling y'all like the littlest things the littlest things get you a journal and start writing it down hey guys it's me again um it's actually the next day it is Monday and I'm almost about to clock out of work and um I'm coming on here because I meant to close up this vlog yesterday but I didn't go to Southern Bell Farms like I had planned to and I just got extremely lazy after I got home I was just so tired my energy was just extremely low so today I I didn't do a lot of my like Sunday reset stuff that I need to do so today I'm gonna take y'all along I gotta run some errands I gotta go pick up I gotta stop at Marshall's um I got stuff at TJ Maxx. I just got to run a couple errands. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me. Do a little mini reset. And then I'm going to end the vlog. So let's go. Let's go clock out. right now I'm doing my makeup it is currently almost seven o'clock in the morning and I need to head to work um I wanted to come on camera because last night I ended up getting a lot of it done as y'all saw but I ended up you have have you ever just been like um cleaning up and then you just start like taking a break and you lay down and then you just can't get back up that's just what happened to me so I woke up really early this morning I was up at like two o'clock this morning um, finishing up the last bit of stuff that I had to do. Um, so I'm really trying to hurry up, but also I am doing my makeup and I'm trying to do it very well because I have a interview today, um, during my lunch break. So I have to make sure that my makeup can last this time, um, all day because my interview is literally at the end of the day. Um, it's at four to, it's from four to five. Usually when I interview it's from like two to three. Um, oh sorry. So I'm trying to hurry up and like do my makeup and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I plan to close the vlog out actually to right now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on there and say that wrap up the vlog here this is the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching this crazy uh just a girl diaries episode three um it's all over the place i just know it is but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys very next week in your motherfucking face what you say oh you